Welcome to Graveyard Keeper, or welcome back even. Uh, the last time I played the bat this was about a year ago, and there's been a couple of DLCs, of which the most recent is Game of Crone. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> no, no coincidence to the Game of Thrones at all, and indeed Stranger Sins, no con no, you know, connection to Stranger Things. Um, anyway, the, these DLCs are now enabled, and uh, the Game of Crone came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's around six pounds on the Steam store. I'd pay for it uh, like normal, just like everyone else. And I thought we'd get into the game and just see what the new content uh, has available for us, pretty much. So yeah, the last time I played this was, um, well, uh, just shortly, just a little time ago. But um, before that, it was 2019, you know, when the world was normal, everything else was fine. So let's get into the game and see what it's got for us, really, with the new DLC. So when you first sleep after entering the game, you'll be taken to this refugee camp. On the map here, it's above the forest near the river and basically where your lumber yard is uh, and stuff like that. So if you pop up here, you will be taken, well, you'll be taken up here anyway by a visitor in your house when you sleep. And this is the Marquis uh, Teodoro Jr. He's given us a couple of new tasks. One, build a well and two, build a tent. And you can do that and have a look up here. There's the water well we need to build, and there's the residential tent, etc. So, uh, yeah, those things that we're going to actually need. So we'll, we'll go and get those resources off camera. And um, he basically got a sub story about um, the, the aristocracy, basically, who who are refugees from the town, and uh, they can't survive out here on their own. That none of them have any ability to uh, to fend for themselves in the wild whatsoever. So that's good. Um, yeah, servants, etc. So they want us to actually sort out some food and drink and shelter for them. So we should go and do that. So I'm going to go and pick up bits and pieces of stuff. And uh, let's see if we can get them started on on a better a better path than than well well better path than what they deserve maybe. <laughs> okay, back to the base. It is. I'll probably go by the teleport stone, or in fact, I'm nearly there now. Anyway, um, I'll go back to the base. I'll pick some resources, and then we'll get started in on Game of Crone. In order to build anything from our refugees, the very first thing you need to do is increase their happiness. And they're really not very happy. You probably saw it at the top right of the screen. And uh, to increase the happiness, you're going to need to give them some food and drink. Now, the well you're going to build is going to give them the drip, well, the water, I guess. But uh, until we get to that, I've just grabbed some water from uh, the sort of, well, uh, from our underground winery. And food is being cooked on the, uh, the whole stove over there, well, the fire. And we'll bring that to them. Uh, we're also going to want to maybe craft some metal scraps. I think I've already told it to craft them. Uh, not in there. Um, metal simple iron parts was what I was talking about. Not metal scraps even. And I'll just make sure I have like a bunch of them just in case. Uh, I've got some stone on me, which is what's needed for some other things. And some sticks and stuff like that. I don't have any silk yet. We'll need to actually figure that out in a little while. But uh, for the start off, we should be able to at least make the well and give them a little bit of food. Uh, you can use your teleport stone to get back over there. Uh, whoops, use, uh, ah, use, uh, back over to the refugee camp. And there should be a storage place that you can actually dump all this stuff. You can see over here, all this, and open it. And if we just dump in, let's say some water and some food, I might need something more specific than that. Maybe I need to give them some red wine. Either way, let's give them a few muffins. And we need to wait a little while. They will start consuming that, hopefully. And that will start converting over into refugee happiness. And uh, it won't immediately go up, but that should go up a little while later. So I'm going to carry on crafting some food and drink uh, various different recipes. And we'll take them and see what they'll actually drink. So, yep, I'll uh, do that and bring you back once they've started to increase the happiness. And once we can start crafting for them. And there you can see they've started consuming the muffins and the water. So let's just dump in a whole bunch more muffins. Make sure they're actually fed for a while. And our happiness has start to grow. 0.6 out of 3. Well, we're probably going to want that to be higher. Uh, let's just double check what I need. Uh, yeah, I need the refugee happiness to be 3 in order to craft the water well. But only 2 for the residential tent. Only problem there is silk. And I think we need the merchant for that. So I need to go wait for uh, the day when the merchant's in. And uh, we need to go and buy some silk from him. And I'll probably, you know, buy a few because, hey, we're probably going to need this a little bit uh, to do each tent. So two for each tent and there's three spaces I could see. So, well, at least six uh, silk if we can afford it. And handily, 
we actually got to the point where we need to be. Uh, so, yes, uh, can we actually buy anything from him? Silk, yeah, there we go. So it's one silver for uh, basically one of it. So I can just buy everything they have. That's perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned. You can buy other stuff as well. You can buy more food and give that to the refugees if you really wanted to. I just want the silk, so I will just take that from him and say thank you. And, um, yeah, just remember, this is the day of gluttony. This is when the merchant is in, so just watch for that orange. So the symbol, and uh, away we go. So back to the refugee camp, and then, you know, keep on loading them up with more water and more food so that uh, I don't have to basically ever run out as far as that's concerned. And what we're really looking for is to get that first tent in, which will then let us get our first refugee, which uh, I think is the cook. So yeah, let's go and see what uh, what we can do with that. Now, when you're next sleep, you're going to get dragged into a, a different sort of um, quest that's part of the same Game of Chrome DLC. And that is basically the vampires in the village. There's going to be a short cutscene about uh, lots of suggestions what they should do about it. But uh, at the end of the day, you're going to get um, uh, basically a task from Haradric to find the vampire. So just be aware that's going to happen. Uh, otherwise, I was sleeping just to get uh, through a little bit of this the villager happiness and get them back to where we need to be. Let's just uh, actually head to the uh, refugee camp now. And let's see if they're any happier. 1.5, so not too bad. Uh, just needs probably one more day before it increases up to uh, two. And you can see in here, I've got them. Well, if they have been foraging, those mushrooms and berries did not come from me. However, the the, uh, the muffins uh, and the water did. So I'm off and I'll sleep through another day. And let's see if I can now build. There we go. 2.17 happiness, which means I should be able to at least build a first residential tent somewhere. Ah, uh, those weren't the spaces at the top I was thinking they were going to be. They're probably just chest spaces. So I guess we're going to build down here. So we've got four spaces, so I'm going to need... Well, it's a good job I bought all the silk. So down there goes our first tent down there. And then our first refugee uh, basically needs uh, a couple of other things, but that's fine. Let's go and see if we need anything to basically assemble this or if it's just the usual thing, which is using our energy, which it looks like it is just energy. Yep, and nearly done and done. Okay, task completed. And our refugee happiness is now zero of four. Okay, um, I kind of would, would have liked um, would have liked higher than, than that, but okay, fine. Maybe we can decorate the tents later. They all say low, like one happiness on them. Maybe they get upgraded just like the graveyard. So uh, that does mean we need to be able to make a water well and the new refugee. Uh, we have a free place for them and we just need more happiness again. So we need that to build up. And I'm, I'm not sure that resetting it every time I put a new one in is perhaps amazing, but okay. It just means I have to wait and uh, bring you forwards by the magic of editing. Now, I purchased our first new re refugee from the build menu up here, and this is the person, this is the cook. Uh, let's see if she's willing to actually talk to us. Our happiness has built up to two again. She won't talk to you initially. She's got zero happiness, So, uh, but now it looks like she will. So let's go and see what she says. Uh, okay. So now she's saying, well, maybe, maybe I could use a kitchen, maybe. Okay, so new task. We need to basically, basically, basically make a kitchen even. Uh, so we've now got a cooking table recipe. That needs to be a uh, refugee happiness of six, however, to do that. And we can only get a maximum capacity of four right now. So we're going to need clearly another refugee. Let's just actually get them in there because that's easy enough to do. Uh, and they should come in. Uh, that should help. But we're also going to need uh, presumably some more of our um, tents. But tents have disappeared. So maybe we need to get another water well before we can do that. Um, yeah, is there anything we can build down here? Clearly not. So, well, we'll see. See what options I get once uh, once the happiness is built up again. Presumably with each uh, refugee we get in uh, as they arrive, uh, we'll be able to get this gauge going faster uh, or increasing faster each time. Or at least I hope so. Let's see. 
So our happiness increased the maximum of four and I built the well. You can see it's no longer available as an option here in the refugee camp. You see refugee happiness is now to, well, one of five instead of one of four. Uh, it was four of four, but I built the well. So the well appears down here and it should keep the uh, the, the refugees here happy and uh, we shouldn't need to then port any more of our water up from our main base. So now uh, maybe we'll get a new task because both tasks we've done now for uh, the Marquis, which is build a tent and uh, also build a well. Anyway. So let's see what he says. Yep, we've got his tent happiness with him. Anyway. Okay. And uh, glad to be useful. Yes. Yep. Okay. So yes, we need to build more uh, tents and build a garden and stuff like that. So one more tent we're going to need. To be able to make the kitchen anyway you can't really build it without six uh basically uh six happiness it's the cooking table down here uh we are however or should be able to build the fence supplies for a garden and then uh it's the same thing as you have in the main base you know you have that area that's fenced off and then another residential tent once we hit five which will then increase it to six so i just need to go and grab some wood billet from the uh the main base and uh, bring it back here and hopefully by that time yeah it's, it's going up uh fairly quickly updates a few times a day it seems it doesn't uh, have a continual counter continual counter might be nice but yeah let's go and get the billet and then get another t well another bits and pieces down for the garden or rather the crop area so time for our vegetable garden or whatever we put down there so fence supplies and there it's gonna get made we need to go and complete it with our labor or energy gauge as you might expect down here and uh there we go so get that done and it's minus one uh, sort of quality or happiness if you like until we actually complete it there we go so that's done and hopefully then we should be oh it's now up to six so i don't even need another tent that will let me get a kitchen without increasing the the number of uh, hungry mouths to, to feed however now we can make beds as we normally would in the the game so we just need to wait for two refugee happiness and then go and put that down and then i also brought some seeds up i've got some uh what seeds did i bring just the first one uh pumpkins uh, i guess you can bring up whatever you like but um you know it it was nearly october i may have missed it by uh, a good couple of weeks but uh your pumpkins are appropriate for this time of year so uh yeah we'll get those down and i've got some peat and everything else to be able to build those beds out and um yeah then yeah nearly ready Okay, let's uh, let's start uh, getting crops. And so far, you've noticed, I haven't needed zombies. No zombies to actually uh, empower this. Maybe our aristocracy. Aristocracy. We have new zombies up here. We don't need to make them, or maybe we do. Let's go and see and find out. So for the time being, I can only make one bed, but that will do, I guess. And um, we'll just put it down here. Um, there's a wow. Oh, that is one of the automated ones. So good. It's not just one of the manual ones. And let's just go and see what we can actually place in it uh, and get everything running. So, as usual, I have to build it. Well, dig it in this case, but yeah, close. There we go. And craft. So we can choose what we actually want here and stuff like that. Good. Uh, and we can get our bed quality upgraded as well. I need to go and get some quality fertilizer clearly from the main base but uh we can uh, i'm gonna need uh, i've only brought a couple of seeds i need more seeds or rather i need to reproduce them and to get that going so i may need to go and choose something else uh carrots or something along those kind of lines to get everything going but uh yeah we do have a bed now and they should be able to grow crops once i basically upgrade it and get everything going all the supplies for that are back at the main base so i shouldn't have to do anything else other than wait for this happiness gauge to go up and then we can then craft uh, well we can make more beds if we want to but uh, that, that's quite simple to actually do i've got enough peat to do uh what two more and uh, we need to get some more flitch and happiness but in the meantime uh we can put another tent up and indeed more importantly the cooking table up here i think and that's going to need to wait for six refugee happiness and some more flitch so off i go to go and get these beds populated or the, the bed populated and uh, see where we go 
Now, at some point when you arrive out of your mortuary, you'll speak to the donkey and you'll get given this uh, sort of new quest to do the cookbook. Uh, yeah, so you will create a cookbook and the donkey is part of uh, this communist party that wants you to create various things. Uh, in this case, a cookbook and some apples uh, to be able to do this. So we need to create that. And then you have this special box you can build here. You can see a contraband box. Um, that should be that crafted. Yep, and we need to create this in the cookbook. And then some apples as well, I think. Uh, are we these apple trees? I think they are maybe apple trees. Yep, there's some apples. So we don't need to do anything else. And uh, send five red apples. Okay, so that's that task done. And then we just need to create and send the cookbook via the contraband box. I don't know where the cookbook is. I assume it's going to be in uh, maybe where we craft the rest of our paper stuff up here. Let's uh, grab a speed potion so that it's a little bit faster. Uh, is it in, in here anywhere? Uh, that's just this shelf. Uh, can I craft? Oh, no, that's just stories. How about the desk? Prayers. Prayers. Lots of prayers. How about a cookbook? There it is. So we can craft that with pen and ink, some paper and some red wine. Okay, uh, and uh, we'll craft that and get that sent off to the donkey via the uh, via that new box that we've got. So let's pop that down there, and hopefully everything will be resolved with that. Maybe it's the start of a whole new quest line. We'll see. Uh, pop that out there and uh, craft, send cookbook. So that should be everything, and the donkey's happiness hopefully should go up and uh, be happy with us. So we'll see later whether that's the case. I came back and just checked for pumpkin seeds. I don't have enough of those. I need to craft more of them. I do have plenty of onions, however, so we could start crafting onions via the um, uh, the usual methods. Uh, what how do we have here? Uh, onion seeds, uh, we can craft a bunch of different things, I guess. Uh, I would like to have a few different vegetables. So carrots, we already know we've got plenty of, or at least uh, we're crafting them. Uh, this one actually isn't being used at all, so we could uh, we could do that. And there's a whole bunch of things we could craft there. Uh, but I don't have enough seeds for all of them, and I want to want some of them uh, up at the uh, the refugee camp. So let's see what I can craft, and I'll bring you back once I've got a few of them going. After a day passes or so, you can head back to the contraband box, and we should find a note in here. Yep, that's completed. Revolutionary message number one. Um, let's use that. <laughs> Glory to the donkey people. Uh, yeah, they enjoyed the cookbook. Okay, unlocked a new technology. We can create aphorisms about the evils of money. Hmm, okay, fine. And uh, presumably they want, yeah, they want some five of the, the stuff we get from uh, the, basically the, the, the masses that we hold at the church. And that's easy enough to actually do because I've got lots of it. Uh, so it's in here, I think. Yeah, uh, I've got 274 and then they want five. Mainly because this content is able to be done from the very, very start of the game. So, you know, you need to be able to to get to that as far as that's concerned. I also wanted to craft a couple of uh, quality fertilizer twos just to, to upgrade things. I think you need 12 per bed to upgrade it. So I've got them being manufactured here and we'll take them up and upgrade the beds. There we go. So we have two batches there and uh, that should be easy enough to make. The aphorisms are also easy, again, same sort of supplies as the cookbook that you have already if you've been following along. So we can then uh, send the five faiths and send the aphorisms and presumably the next time the donkey pops by it's going to pick that up and then uh, be ready to, ready to give us the next task as far as getting happiness up with our donkey friend who consumed all of our carrots. There we go. That's fine, we got some bank checks and some jewellery. Uh, hmm, okay, so let's just check the revolutionary message. There we go. Oh, that's just the same message. That's fine. Yep, yep. Yep, so I don't actually need that anymore. I'm just going to dump that in a random chest or somewhere just in case we need it for the future. But otherwise, perfectly fine. Uh, I think we've got some just random chest down here somewhere. <laughs> They're not really random. They're supposed to be for the winery, but hey, they end up being random anyway. 
Uh, bank checks. Okay, so let's just check what that is. Uh, as you might imagine, use. It's impossible to cash them. They're nothing more than kindling. Fine, that can go in the random chest. Uh, was there something else they gave us? Jewelry. Crafted a jewelry table, so I guess we could sell that if we wanted to. For the moment, uh, I'm just going to put that away because uh, I need to concentrate on the uh, the refugee camp. The donkey has a new task for us. So, a new note. Revolutionary message number two. Uh, okay, let's see what this says this time. Yes, yes, yes. What are you actually going to want for us? So, we need to bring a pumpkin uh, to Clotho and ask her to enchant it. Clotho is a witch in the swamp. Uh, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Let's just pop up to the, uh, the refugee camp. Okay, I upgraded the bed down here twice, so it is now bed three as far as that's concerned. That's good. And then we have full happiness up here, so I can craft the cooking table. There we go. And we can expand it, and hopefully that's going to be basically the station for the cook up there. So let's just get that going. A few hits of a hammer. And we go up to seven maximum. Good. Uh, I can't do anything with it right now. Presumably that's going to be the cook. The kitchen's ready. We get 30 happiness with her. And yeah. We need to improve it. Okay. New task to improve the kitchen. Um, do we just get that on the main build table? Maybe? Let's take a look. Uh, cooking table 2. Yes. So 12 wooden planks and 8 happiness. That's fine. So we definitely will need to go up in uh, re residential sort of terms uh, or we could possibly build another bed and stuff like that so fine i'll let you go and get some seeds fill the bed and get it get, get it started i came down here to the farmer to go and grab some more pumpkin seeds which is what we need we've got enough now to actually uh, basically fill the bed but one of the things over here you need to do is to speak to the farmer's son about the oh, vampire yeah, attacks yeah. about the vampire and that's one of the tasks for, uh, no, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for. Okay, that's no real help, but uh, I guess that's one of the uh, the tasks out of the way. And let's get back to the refugee camp and fill this whole thing up. I clearly need to craft some more speed potions. It's so awful running this slow, well, walking this slow when uh, when you've got access to those, so I'll need to craft them. Uh, pumpkins, there we go. So we can do the, the silver pumpkin seeds and uh, get that going. So that is, is that actually starting to work? It does appear to be. It's very, very slow, mind you, but it does appear to be working. And we're up to 6.57 out of 7. Uh, does that, is that enough for anything else up here? Uh, probably a, another re residential tent, yes. Or another bed, etc. Uh, cooking table 2, we need to get to 8 first. So let's just go for another residential tent and get it that down. I don't know, but let's put, let's put it down here. Okay, there we go. And that should get us, well, it's down at 6 at the moment because it's minus 1 until I, oh, this is so slow. I need to go and craft those immediately. Uh, anyway, let's get a second tent up. And we've got two more spaces for more, of course. But, uh, yeah, I'm just wondering whether we can actually speed that up by putting a zombie on it. I don't think so. Maybe they're growing it itself. But, uh, anyway, 1.34 out of 8. So let's go and speak to Teodoro again. <laughs> Okay, new task, and that's probably going to uh, reach a total of seven people in the camp. And I think we have, well, I I brought in two into this one. Not sure if uh, how many more we're going to actually need, because there's a, a few initial people that were around. So maybe we've got up to five already. And I just need to get to two to invite a new refugee, of course. But each new one you want we invite is another mouth to feed. So, yeah, a bit of a balance. If, however, you speak to the cook, she has a trade option now, so we can then go and get the recipe for simple snacks, I guess. Okay, and uh, that should unlock things for her. The cook has 11 silver. Well, uh, we have a lot more than that, but that's fine. Use, uh, so we can create grated carrots, grated beets, and boiled eggs. 
Hmm, not sure about the, the yeah, calorie content of those, but well, okay, bold eggs are all right, I guess. Uh, fine, so presumably she's going to trade us more recipes as time goes on. I don't think she has anything else for the moment. Let's see if you can do anything else. Nope, nope, nothing for now. So yeah, we do need to improve this, but again, wait for the happiness to go. How's the food situation going? The water should be fine, but food is, oh, down to just onions. I need to go and craft some more, clearly, and get everything to keep running. And back to the base. With one extra refugee, that task is now done. Uh, so that's a total of seven people. Yeah, we get extra happiness. Good. Food, water, and place to live. Uh, which is I. Okay, we can take that to our pub from the uh, the Stranger Sins DLC. Okay, nothing else for him to do right now, but we do actually need to keep things going. Right now, this is not self-sustaining. It lost some seeds, but we did get some pumpkins in over here. So, uh, yep, we got 19. They keep getting eaten now by the, the refugees. Fine. So then we just need to... Uh, I think I've just got one more refugee to go. Yeah, I've got room for one more refugee. And again, we need to get to up to eight, which we can now. And uh, just need to get some wooden planks back from the base, and then we can build the cooking table too. And here's our pub, so we can go and put our artifact in place, I think, up here. Uh, no, maybe not. Uh, okay. I would have thought that would be our artifact cabinet. Hmm. Never mind. Guess we can't put it in the pub. Oh, well, we'll just put it in storage for now. And there we go. We hit eight, so I crafted the new, uh, basically the new cooking table or whatever it is, and that is uh, should be enough for us to uh, finish off on the episode, I think. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, we're just down to beds and new refugees, of which uh, we don't have any free places for them just yet. So, uh, yeah, you can see what I've improved down here. I've added a couple more beds. There's no f crops in them just yet, but um, at least we're, we're running and uh, the, the refugees are... Creating at least some silver pumpkins. I probably want to get them to the gold type for too much longer, but you can see we've got some other bits and pieces. You're going to want to collect bees, by the way, because I think there is space for beehives up here as well. So I presume that's going to be something coming up. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, I will just keep doing that in the background until we get those as options. And uh, yes, lots, lots more muffins as before. So uh, yeah, let's just see if the cook has anything to say. Um, before we close off, I think, because uh, you have just improved her um, her entire place of work. And here she is. I've improved your kitchen. There's our task. Okay, so now she's going to say, hey, I want some beehives as well. She'll say... <laughs> Share some culinary secrets with us. Uh, hopefully we've got some culinary secrets from what we just did. Uh, let's see what her, ch her trade option says. Yeah, so the simple snacks, you can keep on buying it, but it doesn't get you anything new. However, these should. So in lentil we trust, vegetable set and milk processing. So let's take all of those. Uh, thank you. And uh, we'll just use them all. So let's see. Lentil porridge, lentil soup, lentil cutlets. Lentil cutlets? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. That, that's not a thing. Um, vegetable salad, vegetable stew, and creamy vegetable soup, fine. And that, so cheese, butter, and cream mushroom soup. So more processing stuff that we can actually do. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any kind of interface here that I can actually, you know, uh, specify what they make. So I'll have to look into that between the episodes and see if there's any way for us to do that. Uh, so yeah, that should be it for now, I think. We've got fairly well on. There's one more tent to go. But again, each time you add a tent and more people, uh, you end up adding more uh, mouths to feed. So I need to make sure that they're self-sufficient, which should probably mean I need to get them of the gold tier. Both of these are upgraded to, to the bed three. This one is not upgraded yet, but uh, yeah, perfectly fine. And uh, occasionally they'll lose some seeds and that's when uh, that's when things will stop. But uh, how, many, how many pumpkins have they got? They've got like a couple of stacks, so fine for the moment. Uh, did I have any more? Oh, I had some more muffins I can give them. Yeah, there we go. That, that'll keep them going for a while. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more, do let me know down below. Click on the like button, of course. You can subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. But as always, guys, this has been Graveyard Keeper. 
And as always, thanks for watching.